So this is the accessories I want to share with you guys is by uh, Elon Accessories, Tesla Model S3. It actually fits everyone, so it's pretty neat. He actually was able to come up with that one. So let me go and get a tripod. In fact, you know what? I'll bring my computer as well out here. That way we can see even test it out to see how it works as a laptop. Now see my hands are full again. Only my leg is free. So let's do the sonic boom kick. There we go. All right. Bring this sucker in here. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Let's set this up. Maybe we can set it up where the gal brings us our breakfast in the car. What better way to be safe than in our car, close up the window, have our HEPA filter take care of us. I'm not sure how much more seating space we have. All right, I know that we have to tilt the wheel a certain way. And careful when you tilt the wheel. Look at it, the wheel can go any direction if you want to, but preferably like this way. Creates the underneath groove. And let's take a look at this bad boy. We're gonna open it up. Again, this is by Elon Accessories. You can find this in my description below uh, on the video. And gives a little bit back of detail. Nice packaging. There you go. Very cool, very nice. It says right there. Very cool. We have the screen protector by Elon as well. Oh, there they are. How are you? Good morning to you. How you been, man? Good, good. Thank you so much. Good, You too. All right, we got our McDonald's here. They are quick. I was trying to get it to before we actually opened our Elon, but uh, I mean, uh, after we opened it, but uh, they are already here already, so it's gonna put that. I decided to put back my little, uh, sh you know, fluffy uh, carpet there, only for preference wise. I can take off my feet, but the, the 3D uh, floor mat was really awesome. Yeah, nice and sealed like an unboxing video here hopefully it doesn't turn into a boxing video okay so here we go nice very sealed very good very tightly sealed so it doesn't scratch easily it comes also with its own holder the leather of course there it is a leather from elon itself their tesla owner gradually in choosing elon accessories will tray um, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to know how to use it, but you do need to know where to hook it onto. And I've seen a few videos already on how to hook onto it, so it shouldn't be that hard. There's a few more things here. Elon's always hooks it up with some, probably some dash cleaners or something. There we go. He always gives these little courtesy cards you can hand out to people. Uh, it's kind of funny because they'll say something like, you suck at parking. And I think they offer him uh, something else. It's for you to give out to someone if you run into them, but he gives you all these little great little cleaners here. It has his embroidery logo on there, and what's great is you can clean your screen here. Let's do this. Service. Uh, okay. Uh, I think it's under, maybe display. I can't remember. There we go. Screen cleaning. There we go. So dark is it out. You can see here, it hardly has any fingerprints. Not that I just clean it, but it's just really, um, it's not fingerprint proof, but it is pretty much resistance to fingerprint. So you can see here, it's matted. And then if you hold your screen for a very long time, it'll come back on. Boop, 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 boop. I'm not holding the right There You go. Three seconds, two, one, zero. Boop. All right. So let's go ahead and do this here. Let's enjoy our meal. Now, you can sit here and eat your lunch and then carry it over back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But for me, that's like twisting your wrist a little bit. You know what I mean? You want the best comfort out of your Tesla. I definitely would try to check this product out here. Let's, let's put it to the test, really. Let's go and crack it open. Very nice and sealed, Elon. Oh man, I cannot even open it with just my fingers scratching it. Uh, I wish I had anything sharp in my car, but I don't. Uh, oh, I do. I have my little squeegee here. That's probably the sharpest thing I have. That and oh, actually no, I do. I have a spare key actually. There we go. I hardly use this key anymore. Everything is now electronic entry. There we go. That came in hand, huh? <laughs> You're gonna be using keys now just to as a a box cutter <laughs> who uses keys anymore nowadays everything's electronically uh well i know i still have a key entry to my house but i'm thinking you know <clears throat> nowadays everything now is opened up now i heard that tesla is actually uh sending their mobile service and you can actually um, not even be there they can unlock the car from their you know you can unlock the car they can unlock it for you and work on your car while you're a distance away just for your own safety uh as well as theirs of course but there you go you know, it seems like a, it's like a nice little plastic material. 
there's no rubberized part of it whatsoever. It seems like a little floaty. Um, hmm. This one feels pretty good, like a little bit rubber, I think, or not much, but it looks like it's definitely made from the different pattern. So anyway, all you gotta do is just hook it like this, come up to your steering wheel, see that under underneath, but you can see my, my pants now, and there you go, that's it. It just hungs on, just hopefully it doesn't have anything sharp here, you don't wanna cut your steering wheel. So I can feel the edges here, okay, they bleed it pretty nicely, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be sharp, because you don't want to put a, a dent on your on your nice uh, vegan leather now they start making it but this one's actually the real leather because it was still made in 2019 august 15 2019 that's when it's date of birth so there you go i'm not sure you can adjust the height but it's it's okay uh a -huh. little bit lighty lighty airy which is fine um let's see let's put our mcdonald's show it all right so what do we have here I didn't have to move myself back too. This is my normal, you can see here, my resting spot. Easy mode, there we go. Oh, this is easy entry. Oh, wow, easy entry is actually even better. <coughs> it's not even positioned to kind. You can see here, it tilts the wheel up. And I'm surprised it didn't spin the wheel on easy entry. But that's cool. You don't have to, you know what I mean? You can go a little bit like this way too. As long as you can get a clear angle of where you're gonna loop it at. But I think right here, I kind of like things, you know, very even, that's just me. Even though I'm just eating with a tray. Uh, so, yeah. It feels a little bouncy. A little bouncy. It could be a little bit more stiffer, in my opinion. But let's see how it actually does. Maybe, in my opinion, it's not adequate yet. Um, we got apple pie here. Let's set our drinks. We got our water here. So far, so good. And... Oh, uh, that's another apple pie. Yeah, excuse me for having at least two. <laughs> and then... There it goes. Our breakfast sandwich. I don't want to get this dirty, so I'll put a little... You know, underneath here. Ooh, nice. Nice and hot, too. Oh, the McGriddle. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of uh, eating my sweets with my savory salty, but I think this will work. Uh, let's see. Is this, I guess you can just eat this one at one time. It's not sweet at all. I thought it would be. Um, I mean, I don't mind a little bit of you know, sweetness to it. You know, I love Hawaiian food, so that has a little sweetness. Hmm. You're like, you're like you're folding your pancake and just eating the sausage with it. I mean, now I think they come with corn dogs. I think those corn dogs are now battered with pancakes. And they're not they're not hot dog in the, inside, they're sausage. So it's like a corn dog breakfast, sort of. But so far, I'm finding it pretty useful. You know, to have my, you know, it's, it's much more pleasing to be able to eat. And see your food item here. Oh, look at that McDonald's symbol. It's just pretty neat. I'm not endorsing McDonald's, by the way, but um, you know, it's not the healthiest breakfast. I hardly have it, but I figured today I'd just share with you guys a little bit uh, my morning uh, breakfast. Um, testing out this product mainly. Okay, so now we got this product tested here. Let's go ahead and um, look at uh, how it does with a laptop now. Now, this is a light laptop. Even though it's a big screen, it's in the ounces, okay? So it's not really heavy, heavy. You know, a little bit of um, grease already right there, but look, it wipes off really easily. I just want to make sure it doesn't scratch easily either, because that's the main part. Uh, this thing right here, it looks like it fits it okay. A little snug, but that's okay. You know, you're not going to be moving while you're doing this, of course. You shouldn't be driving while you're having, you know, this on here. <laughs> so, let's go and check out also now the cover it comes with. Okay. All right, Elon. Let's see here. I tried to learn a little bit about video recording now, but I do not move my camera so much. I know I have the habit of doing that. I'm all over the place. And you guys are trying to see in the first person perspective of what it would be like if you were to open this up. Oh, the material doesn't feel, eh, it feels like you're almost the back underneath of your Tesla carpet area. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel that luxurious. That's, that's why I can tell you that. But you know what? Maybe it's supposed to blend in with your carpet so people don't think it's, you know, an extra person in your car where they'll break your window. I'm not sure that's the purpose of it. Make it look like part of your uh, flooring, you know, your flooring pattern. Or maybe not. It does, seems like a big, huge pouch. It has a little bit of a um, thing on here. And just the, just the Velcro, you know, it nicely, it looks like it's nicely engraved in there. There's a little extra secondary pouch in case you want to put some extra extra or is it, 
leads into the first apartment. But we'll find out right now. So let's go ahead and put this guy in here. Can I do one hand here? There we go. You can put the other way around too if you want to, so that way the handle will be out for you. But since we already have it here, I'm gonna drop it now. There we go, it just slides right in. And then let's see if this, actually, yeah, there is two inserts. So you do have a secondary smaller pouch. It seems like it goes all the way actually. So it's a second level tier on top that you could put like the, you know, the cable the charger of your laptop. In fact, I think this is a pretty good um, uh, laptop holster. I might even just use it for my laptop holster because I mean, I'm sure it's just supposed to protect this guy here from getting scratched up in the case. So let me try to pull him out. In fact, I got my tripod here. What am I struggling for? That way I can use both hands, right? So let me go and whip out my tripod. Get you guys back on my tripod here. First of all, I gotta flick this off. There we go. My tripod here. I love this tripod, available also on my uh, this video description below if you wanna grab one. Uh, very convenient, very small enough. There we go. All right, let's see this now in action. Okay, so we are looking at the Elon tray. We're gonna take it out back. put any way you want to you can put it this way so you can brag it out also it fits the tray just perfectly actually and probably a little bit more maybe a couple more maybe about inch and a half further but it closes up stores wherever you like to store it at you know I'm not sure but you could probably pop in the back area you know between the seats or crit area so we'll leave this right here and now let's go ahead and test it out okay I said I was gonna leave it then I bring it back out <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got to put the thing guy here. And now we're going to test it out. How does it do with the laptop on it now? Let's see here. You can see here all of it. Hopefully you guys don't see my tummy. I'm not having to move my seat back too either. Um, this is pretty much where I'm at uh, during my easy access mode. Okay, so now here is my laptop. This is a LG 17 inch. And it's already got its own cover, by the way, but... Um, I want to see if I can actually use this to do some, oh, look at that. If you, if you pivot it down, if you pivot this down a little bit, you can actually get the incline to be up a little bit more slanted like this. But if you actually go all the way in, it's going to fall down. It's going to be more incline. So if you want it to go a little bit higher, you can use that almost the tip of your steering wheel right here to actually grip it like right there, like right there. See that? So for me, I'm gonna put it right there. The reason why it's it's not gonna be worrisome if it falls because it's gonna fall on my lap. And also the weight of my laptop, even though it's in the less than a pound, it's gonna put the weight and fold it in for me. So if my calculation is correct, which it normally is, I took that line from Tony Starks. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's go and open my laptop. Oh, oh man, this is comfortable. And not only that, it bounces a little bit, so it kind of contours to your your le elevation. So, and let's see here. Let's see, I'm just gonna try to see if I could do some work. Let's see. All these are opening up here. Okay, let's say for instance, I wanted to go in to my YouTube, which you guys are seeing right here, and. This is the last video we did. And, oh, retry it because there is no Wi-Fi here. I have to tap my phone, by the way. Okay, so no worry, but let's see if I can type. The idea is to be able to type something. Let's see this. Okay, I'm sure you guys can see me. Okay, so let's see if I can type very comfortably or not. This is my new laptop holder in the steering wheel of my Tesla Model 3. You know what, uh, Eric Amatic, I don't feel like I'm being crammed or forced. I really think this is pretty comfortable. Um, let's see here. 
And not only that though, it pivots around where I need it to flex to be able to scoot. It's not so hard and rigid where I don't feel relaxed. So the pressure of my weight on my palm sitting on my laptop makes this perfectly inclined to a level where it's suitable for me to be able to type just nicely. So I definitely gotta give a shout out to Elon Accessories for this one. It's actually, I think probably be in my must have, especially if you're enjoying you know, dining out. And besides, if you go to like one of those drive through which they still have the classic one, they hook thing onto your door. I really don't care for that because, you know I mean, even though they put a little protector like Sonic that helps you not have bang the door, isn't it better just to be able to eat nicely here and look at four of you instead of twisting your arms like this to, you know I mean, get your food? I mean, just having it in the forefront, it just makes all the difference in the world. So there it is. A shout out to Elon Accessories. You can find this product here in my description below. And I hope you guys stay tuned because we're going to have some more stuff to share with you later on today. So right now, you can see here, uh, it's self-driving itself. Um, we're going to make a turn shortly here, but it's going 25 miles an hour. It's detecting all the curvatures. Pretty neat. Okay, I'm going to make a right. Beautiful area. All right. I forgot to mention also um, that Elon Accessories, the tray is mainly for the Tesla theater, which has the perks of being able to watch uh, your Tesla while you're dining in experience or taking notes and watching YouTube tutorial like myself. Now, you don't have to take notes, it's not that uh, uh, rocket science. So yeah, so you'll do is just put them park, uh, push your brakes, turn it to the area you want. And if you turn your wheel like this, more than likely your wheels still be pretty safe. You can see here the arrow wheels we got on back. Oh, they are stunningly beautiful. You can see that I turned the wheel already, but it's still not all the way. That's just enough right there. See that the wheel didn't really turn that much once you turn the steering wheel, but it looks amazing. I'll talk to you more about the arrow wheels just a little bit. But going back to the Elon accessories, yeah, I forgot to mention it did actually fit my um my 17 inch laptop. So this must be a pretty nice long tray. So here we go. I put it back here. It, it actually does look like it's part of the carpet area. So that way people don't mess with it, think it's like a valuable thing. So you don't want something to say, hey, Parada in here, and it looks like a, a nice Parada bag, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the last thing you want is to be able to uh, have your, uh, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of window broken. Okay, so you can see here it fits. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can even fix, put that in there along with Elon's uh, thing. Let's see. There we go. Let's open this guy up. Let's see if we'll fit in here. So both my laptop and Elon Sesu. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going in. Oh yeah. Look at that. Very nice, tight, secure fit. And it still close it firmly. Now I got my laptop and my tray all in one. What about that? And then the he made it with, with such slight material, you know. At first I thought I was just being frugal on it, but it's actually really nice. It's it's light, you know what I mean? You could probably pick it up with two fingers like this. Well, maybe not like that light, but still light enough, you know. It probably weighs less than, I would say, probably no more than a quarter pound. Uh, Yeah, probably like a, well, a couple Big Macs will probably weigh more than this. So it's pretty neat. So what's great about it is you can again dock it. Let's go ahead and see if we can dock it. Push the brakes. It does tell you in the car to push the brakes so you can release the steering wheel power. Okay, so let's go ahead and level it. Only reason because I want to level it perfectly. And then let's go and set our Tesla theater. We can go to entertainment. There we go. It's parked. We can play Cuphead. We can do anything we want. We can. Well, you don't want to. Play, well, you can't play with a cup. You might need a steering wheel. You can't play racing. But what you can do is go to Tesla Theater, go to YouTube. Let's see if it loads up. First time actually doing this. I never even got a chance to really explore Tesla Theater. So hopefully, I think it's. I believe we. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's check out my favorite channel, myself, <laughs> at CY Store. Okay. See what NCY story is all about. There we go, Tesla Mod Three. Let's see. What kind of world do you? All right, we'll skip in? commercial. Oh, it's got, and then you can have enjoy your um, McDonald's meal. 
apple pie here. Get my drink. Look at that, you can watch your news. Put my drink here, I guess. The napkin. Skip it. Go get back started correcting our alloy gator and see if we can do a little bit better job. There you go, look at that. A video in a video. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your apple pie. I believe you can go full screen on this. I wasn't sure. Let's see here. Usually you can. There you go. Maybe this is full screen. Oh wow! It does take the whole screen up. Pretty neat. Your car is inclined with the nose. That should go away. There you go. Wow. Very full screen. A video inside a video, and then you can enjoy your apple pie. I uh, feel very comfortable. Very comfortable. So this is Elon Accessories. So we're back home now. What we're going to do is I'm going to share with you some other accessories. But before that, though, I want to touch base with you on the mirrors itself. You can see how... Let me see if I open the door what happens to the video. Or let's see if I put it on drive what happened to the video. Uh, there we go. See, that takes it all off. Now we know. Okay, so... I was going to see how I can get out of that full screen. Okay, so I want to share with you. You see here the mirrors are not the cleanest. And actually from this angle, you don't see it too bad. But um, I can see a little bit water spots here, a little bit there. Uh, these are just probably from mildew. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to open it. Uh, I mean, not open it, but I'm gonna show you how to wash it. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks super nice. Yeah, those arrow wheels sure complements really beefing up. Okay, so what I use, I use the Adams rag and I use this right here, invisible glass. This is pretty much my preferred choice uh, for washing the Tesla windows. And then this is Adam's cloth here. You can see here, it's like a microfiber. Uh, it's a little bit more finer, it's almost like it has like patterns or something like that, but it doesn't leave a streak and I can attest to that watch. We'll show you. Let's see if I can get this guy open back. Just gotta get the windows to protrude back out like that, okay? So this is Invisiglass. See here my glass is very slick that's why it wicks off the rain so what you do is just give it a spray i'm not sure you guys can see a little bit of that spot now or no but anyway there you go then uh, i don't really like to put anything on my glass i'll leave it at the bottom just take uh you know fold in fours use four at a time use a new side if you need to and then just give it a good rub look at that it doesn't leave any streaks very nicely thoroughly clean that I'm just gonna do that for the other side as well uh, most of my stuff are pretty well maintained already um, good enough because we're gonna be doing some more work it's gonna close on me shortly so I better do it quickly all right let's I open the window or something see there you go you see that splat well uh, it doesn't leave a streak nice and buffered out so yeah, Adam's uh, cloth, you see that on my item description below under cleaning products. Uh, and then I use invisible glass. Now you can also buy the liquid form if you don't care for the aerosol. The reason why is, remember I introduced you guys to this other spray bottle type where it actually misses. So you don't have to worry about it. This one right here, where it just misses. It's, so, speaking of misses, I'll show you. The, this is the same chemical I used as the aero wheels. I just transferred into a smaller bottle. The reason why is it's so much better for me because I don't have to carry this huge lug thing around. I can pretty much just keep it in this little small little container here. It looks cute. You can put it inside your glove department or even inside when you have a mess. And I use uh, Adam's 400GS microfiber cloth for the sensitive area that I don't want to scratch. Even though I have PPF and it's scratch resistant for the main part. Let's see if I can find any bugs here. As long as I don't leave town. I don't get any bugs. I'm not sure you can see here a light little dirt. See that? Just a little light spray from this guy right here. And then just take my little microfiber cloth. Again, you want to make sure when you clean things, you want to go in the checker pattern, meaning, you know, kind of crisscross, not crisscross, sorry. Uh, you want to go like in a cross pattern checker this way, or you can go back this way. But never do like Mr. Miyagi swirl. That only works for wax on, wax off. You don't want to do that when you're just trying to. Uh, take off the the dirt from just like a little detailer spray. Nothing wax. So I really don't see anything. It's just spotless clean. 
uh, maybe a little bit on the glass. This thing works on glass or plastic too. It won't harm anything. And the window spray there also works on tint too, so you don't have to worry if you have a question on window tint. Uh, it also is safe on window tint. There's a little bug right here, harder to get. I can feel it's kind of rough. Don't use your fingernails, soften it up. I would definitely put the spray on here and just leave it there for a little bit. Let us do its job. Because the thing about this one, it doesn't have any kind of grip. It just takes out mainly dust and stuff like that. But maybe you can give it a little bit more harder. Not sure you can see it, but it's gone now. There we go. Nice and soft. Yeah, this car has definitely been pampered quite a bit. Uh, well protected, now even the wheels. So yeah, um, so it's really nice to be able to carry like that little bottle around. There's, they come in separate colors. You can get like the black top you want to blend in your, your accessories more. But I like the clear bottle because you can see what kind of fluid you put in there. So now that we're back, also I want to mention to you again, we didn't put the cap on the Aero Wheels Alloy Gator yet. The reason why I didn't want to do it yet because I wanted to make sure riding around when it expands and stuff like that. I want to know where it's opening up back so I can actually um, go ahead and put it on the very last minute. And that way, you can see here I also did a little bit of scraping on it. Take out the old existing super glue that broke off uh, due to the fact that it might be an expansion on these things right here when we hit it. And also while driving it. Uh, the rubber that inserts on it will eventually start pivoting the aero wheels uh, alloy uh, gator thing to come out a little bit so you want to make sure you bang it the very last time too after it's been inflated but before you put your car down you don't want to bang it while you still have your rubber to it so you can still do it but i wouldn't recommend doing it um, until you actually uh lift off the ground it's much better for the wheels to get fully banged in there like that so you can see here it's all nicely sanded down cleaned as well after I scraped, I sand it just to make sure I get any debris out. It also roughens it out, which is perfect for it. Because when we put on that super glue, it's going to land perfectly on as well. So here we go. You can see here, it didn't come out, but not. It didn't come out. No more. No more banging this morning. I mean, <laughs> I've been banging for three days. <laughs> huh? I drove it today, yesterday. So quite a bit. I was here yesterday, but I didn't drive on the freeway or nothing, but city's driving. I didn't want to take too much time. Because the clip is not really going to be the one that's going to hold those edges together. The clip is just to cover the cover the, the slit. That's it. That's not that's not strong to hold these two together like this. This is What's really holding is the inside gator teeth and those uh, little uh, metal teeth roca. So everything looks good. Oh, you have breakfast yet? I have breakfast. Uh, McDonald McMuffin? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. See, us Asian, we're scared of other Asians. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, you have it all, huh? Yeah, I was showing my... Them how to clean the thing with the atom cloth. How good it is. It looked clean, right? The window? You cleaned it already? Just one day, huh? Yeah, we're going to put outside. Yeah. That's what happens. When, uh, outside, when... You, you pack outside not the garage, you know, uh -huh. to cover you because the moisture from the last night and go after that the wind blow. Oh, yeah. Go, but you know, if this was uh, even more ceramic coated but not, it will actually uh, glaze off like mine did. Mm -hmm. Nothing sticks to it too uh, much like I show you. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you a cap. See this cap right here? See that's moving? Well, it was moving. <laughs> <laughs> I need the air on No, no, the reason why is because it's actually ceramic coated. Ceramic coated, when the rain hits it, it wicks it out further. Yeah, no, no dirt or dust usually stays on the car really easily compared to if it's non ceramic coated. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put those caps on the gators and get that out of the way because it's already been tested for two days now. Uh, we drove it around, there's not much uh, peeling on it. So let's go and do that. This is it. This is the alloy gator. Oh, he had another one? Oh, you can hear it? Yeah, when it's hot, you'll hear back from the house. No way. How do you know? Look like speaker. No way, really? Yeah, see? 
No, I, I, I guess you got good ears. <laughs> I can't even hear it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue that together. We're going to need our adhesive. And we're going to need the rest of our tools here. So, oh, here's another one. Check this one out. New item. This is a tray. So you can eat in your car and you hook onto the steering wheel. How cool is that? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at me. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't see the importance of it yet. Wait till, because you don't want to eat at a restaurant, right? You eat in your car safely. So that's so why. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Okay. So we're going to need is the tools. Uh, we don't need anything to bang it now. We do need a little bit of alcohol. And you know what's funny though? With, during this whole crisis, the alcohol thing has been like really, you can't get them at Amazon. There's just every, everything sold out. So I was able to get a little alcohol pad left. So, here you go, Banat. Want to check it out? So, you turn your wheel this way. <laughs> Jeremiah, you don't need to eat things in your house anymore. No you can eat in your car. Look at this tray for the steering wheel. <laughs> He's probably going to come over because he has no, nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is right here. <laughs> uh, not knowing is a dog right there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here's Patreon. When you well, your car with driving, <laughs> uh, no one said you can drive when you eat your car, buddy. Oh, so what it does, it, it hooks to your steering wheel. What is it? Uh, pretty much, you know how you have drive through, right? And they usually, so you hook it like this, you turn your steering wheel upside down, and there you go. So what happens when you turn your steering wheel? Well, while you're doing what, 60 mile on the freeway? Yeah, you're turning it. You're oh, turning it while you're... Well, no, well, you have to eat first and then... Self-driving. Yeah, self-driving. Self you can do this now. It's it legal. It still turns. Huh? The wheel still turns. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it doesn't turn the wheel. It actually turns only the, the mechanism. Uh -uh, oh, yeah. Not. Yeah, you want to try it? I'll, I'll send you to it. First class <laughs> yeah, no, meal. No. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> actually, you're, you're right. <laughs> well, you can't even turn the wheel unless you sit properly. So when the car is parked. You would use it, and then you can actually play entertainment. So come on over here, you guys. Come around. I don't want to play entertainment. Like this, where you can watch your I channel. I own entertainment. Okay, you own entertainment. All right. <laughs> so you can watch your channel here, YouTube, your favorite show, whatever's playing. Let's see if I crank this up. How easy for this to come on? Oh, look at that! You got Saturday Night Live sketch, and you can watch yourself here. Well, that's what I would like to do. Watch myself. <laughs> I know you do. All right, here we go. So, let's see here. This is probably... Yeah, this is here. There's right here, I think. Oh, man. It's going to be a nice day day, it looks like. Huh? No rain? Let's see here. Yeah. So, that right there? Yeah, there's a cap for it to cover it anyway, but awesome. not. They have cap. So, how you can... It's like at least about what five hundred dollar rim yeah. per rim. Okay, now here's the so annoying guy right here. Straight. This is the hair right here. I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, the PPF. Oh, well, I, I took the other company to court. Yeah. It was fun. There, who's this guy it right here? It was fun, fun, but it was like kind of entertaining <laughs> to watch him lie and squeal. Oh, after the judge saw the pictures, he was trying to rationalize. Really? <laughs> Why well, wouldn't want to say <laughs> Why didn't he even go to court? Uh, both. Yeah, you but I don't know what drove anything. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, but, it, was it, it holds there's two of them. Actually, it's interlocked. Yeah, he gets his there's a little, I little thing that goes in a little bit of little plastic right here. So it's interlocked. Just, you need to know, the more you junk you put on here, uh -huh. the worse it's going to uh, Let's see the example right, right there. Backwards. That, that's the junk. Well, there's nothing on that. Yeah, thing. I can see why. There's nothing in there. It wasn't even worth nothing. <laughs> it's worth more than this junk. Uh, At least I don't have to plug it in. Are you coming over here just to be jealous? Right here. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I like this because it makes... Uh, <laughs> it actually changed its appearance. Oh, you like it now, huh? The, uh, will <laughs> okay. Look so when you put on drive, it. it'll take it off of. It does? Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. See, when you put on drive, it takes it off of YouTube right away. And then this thing gets off too, and you throw it out the window. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, but uh, it's very convenient. How much was That's it? That's what. Uh, it was only like two hundred. For that little plate. I For the little plastic? It. No, I'm kidding. Elon must not do you wrong like that. Uh, it's probably like I think about 40, 40 50. 40? Yeah, forty You're bucks. You're never gonna use it. 
Uh, I think I will. No, I'm, I'm gonna be using it for entertainment. The first time you put it on there and your steering wheel turns, it'll flop. <laughs> your steering wheel is not gonna turn you're anywhere. Laugh, you're gonna throw it out the Don't listen to him. <laughs> okay. I right, go walk with your. Uh... What is, I like the extra. The extra. Uh, this is nice. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. I agree with you. Thanks for admiring the PPS. Yeah. Cost? Oh, right much, here. Yeah, yeah this is much, all good. How much, how much did this cost? <laughs> That's included, buddy. All right, so we're gonna go and put the alloy wheels here, but we need our, our spray. What the Why? Uh, the PPF, sometimes it actually lifts a little bit. You just gotta correct it. There's a little minor lift. There we go. Yeah, paint protection film. Which I didn't regret. That's probably one of the best investments I ever had. You ever seen this before? Accelerator. What you do is you spray it before you t uh, touch it with the super glue, and it Cheers instantly bonds. Yeah. You know how super glue you have to hold it on to for a little bit, like yeah. 20 seconds? This thing works in seconds. You yeah. need it right away, especially you when you're rolling. That's something you're sniffing. <laughs> 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 All right. That's what I get for talking to uh, a hickey, <laughs> uh, a redneck. Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's go get these on there. I, scra I scrapped it a little bit because I got to put the, what do you call that? You know that little cover that goes on the arrow? Jeremiah? What? You, so you know, see how the connector ends right here? Oh, I, I want to expand first before I actually seal it. You know, I've been banging on this car for three days, I know. right? No, Nate, you gonna put something over that? It has to have. It has a cover right here. I scraped off the so super you glue have already. To bang that in there too. See? No, you no, don't have to bang it. Stick too long here when it dry, it'll block the air. Maybe you energy more. Yeah, maybe more efficient too. I don't know, but no, it looks good no. though with I arrow wheels. Would it be uh, more efficient on my Volkswagen? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your Volkswagen, you need to cut that in half, maybe the uh, horizontal, <laughs> uh, make it flat. <laughs> Are you gonna have to bang that on with a hammer? No, you don't have to. No more banging this day. I did it for three what days happens, straight. Uh, what happens if you have to? See, uh, he broke one. One. You broke one? Yeah, one there you go. One. See that? It I covers it pretty nicely. Yeah. Uh no, I have to put glue <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I'm just preparing for it. What would that look like if you I had to sand it down a little bit. So let me ask you, yeah. uh, when they have to change the tire, what happens? You have to pay for it? Yeah, but yeah, they they there change, might be extra they, cost. They be able to change the tire without all that crap on uh it. no, actually when they when they have the machine they press it in and then you can yeah, just you can reuse your gate. Right in here. It huh? goes around the tire. It's gonna. This is gonna. It'll jack that all up. Oh, that's true. It might be. I don't know. I. I really don't know. I think you might be able to wobble it out. You didn't it. like think no. ahead too need, far with it. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, they have to press that. But I think it. But they rather. This thing is strong. You know that, right? Nylon. Yeah, but you it, took it, a it, hammer you to it. Metal. It'll uh, metal break. to metal. When that metal goes around that rim to get, release your tire mm -hmm. from the rim, it'll scrape. Well, let me ask you this: out. If it did scrape that, why wouldn't it scrape your rim? Why would you want to even do it that? Does scrape your rim? Then forget it. I'm not doing it. Well, then you're gonna go around no tires. We'll figure out another way. I think it come from there the back. There is no other way. They can come from the there's back, only right? One way. The, the bee can come from the back. When the, there's bees on both sides. Yeah, they'll take it out the back. Duh. The front, they gotta take it in the front too. No, they don't. Yeah, the front, they, they can, do. they can, they can, uh, they can inflate it and they'll come back to the front. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, we'll find out. We'll go America Tire. M make sure you quote him on that. <laughs> Mr. Look at his wheel. It doesn't even have a hubcap on what's missing. <laughs> I don't need hubcaps. It's aerodynamic the way it is. I guarantee you I have more resistance than my bike. It's bike. air, but no yeah. dynamic, though, that's for sure. There's more resistance than my bike than your car. Uh-huh. Well, guys, we want to go to a race? Uh, I didn't think so. <laughs> you did say race. I'll, I'll go to a wind tunnel. You go to a wind tunnel. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> None but wind, probably let coming out the other end. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, on a field. <coughs> on, 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 on a field. On a field. Okay, so what yeah, I'm gonna do is I'm, yeah. I'm gonna first of all get my alcohol yeah, rub. I'll race you out in the field in North Florida. Okay, we know you're gonna lose a race. No, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some alcohol rub. All right, so there you go. I got one little, little alcohol rub left, and that's just clean out any leftover residue, like oils and stuff like that. So let's see if I can pull this out. There we go. 70% isopropyl alcohol. This is pretty much what you need to clean things to make sure that it's uh, no oil whatsoever. Uh, hopefully, this is a good one because I wasn't sure we had just found it. Many use, but this is pretty much the same as it's my extension, like for medical use. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's still moist. That's perfect. So just give it a good rub. It'll air out. It'll dry the area. I'm gonna do it all four right now. That way, I don't have to worry about it. 
So there we go. Let it roll. Where's the other one? I already scraped. I already sanded down. That way it gives it a little bit more better bonding surface. I did that also to the cap. There we go. Get all the dirt screened out. Now, just a rubbing alcohol to keep all the oil. That way, the, the super glue has a dry surface. I already sanded, right, but not? So, it should be good. There we go. Neat. All right, so now we're going to do is we're going to spray some of that. That thing also smells like alcohol, too, by the way. That, that uh, accelerator. It smells like alcohol. Oh, can you uh, grab my super glue? Or your super glue is over there, right? Your super glue, my super glue. Your super glue. <laughs> I'll get you another one if you need more. No, okay, that's probably last you forever. You only need a little bit, right? Last time yeah. you bought it? Okay, he can yeah, use this for... Too, too drip. Yeah, he can use this to fix his espresso machine. Now, every time you drink espresso, you have super glue taste. <laughs> Where do you put the super glue? Uh, broken I think, plastic? Uh, the, the, the panel in there, uh -huh. like, it won't stick for like, 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 The one like, that you just sold? No. Oh, the new one? Yeah. The, oh, okay. The panel, when you press on it, yeah. like, like, I press it and like, like, mm -hmm. like pull back on it. Not sticking there. I take them out right now. Screw everything that broke. Oh, okay. And I cannot nothing to do. I need super glue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can. Because very thin and small. Yeah. When they old, the kind of plastic they broke. Uh huh. You know? Screw to there, but when they screw to the plastic, the plastic. No, let me get a holder here that you guys can see me do it. Only I see only the 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 gel one hold better than the the, the, the regular one. liquid one. Yeah, liquid. Yeah, the, you, put more around, you know? But you still have to hold it for 20 seconds, right? Yeah, I hold tape on it after that. Like, tape oh, you, oh, you tape? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's smart. Tape, tape. You don't have to to help you hold it. I don't get... Uh, if you put tape on there, but now I don't think it'll help you hold any better, you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, where is my... Um, oh, you know what? I have it in... I have it in here. I was going to say, where's my tripod? There we go. Look like... like make my mm -hmm. tripod. But the fuel like takes two hours. Fuel. You're right. And but you put tape on it to make it hold it. Mm -hmm. it yeah. After, but it don't use over. Don't make over. Okay. After that, you put tape on it. They will have to hold it. Do you put a lot or no? No, just. Yeah. If you put a lot, it's just overkill. It's not gonna do good. Yeah. Don't put too much. Yeah. You don't put. But you just put, put enough perfectly put just to do the area. Over, put tape on the okay. You guys can see me do it again. Okay, so there it goes. You can see here this side is pretty clean. I roughened it out pretty much. I took that little flathead screwdriver and just kind of chiseled it. You see it's all banged up inside. That's okay because what matters is this surface part. And I did a dry fit to make sure that this, this is not going to protrude in the way. It's going to allow me to go in. That's a dry fit right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to put our super glue. Shake it up. This guy, I don't know why it requires shaking, but we did it. And it drove already for a day or two. So this is pretty much where his resting spot would be. I don't know yet. If we take on the freeway, I'm hoping the freeway doesn't bulge it some more. But I'm going to put a lot here, enough. It might not even come out yet because I probably have to recut it. All these little, there we go. Break uh, break all the, what we call it, super glue boogers. All the way to Frosties. Okay. No, it's coming out. All right, there we go. There we go, it's coming out. Put a little dab there, a little dab here. You can just put a dab in the area that you want. Make sure it focuses on. I mainly want the edges to mainly, so you can see. Oh, there we go. All right, so there we go. We got plenty of them in there now. I got a little too much. Got to be careful because I don't want it to leak out. Look at that. <laughs> Super glue is fast. All right, so we're going to use our little, we're just going to give it a quick spray. That's it, just one little spat will do. I'm not trying to cover the whole place up. 
Okay, well, what you want to do is when you do lie it down, make sure everything is squeezed in fully. Twenty seconds. Very nice. Voila. There we go. Do not scrape this. You don't need to. Uh, what you're going to do is just clean it with a little towel or even the alcohol rub. Uh, the gator uh, pretty much is glued in the very tip. You guys can see here. Get a little bit more dark light on there. Very nice. It covered all the scratch areas anyway. So that's the main part. A little crusty white area here. Don't worry about them. You can just go back with your fingernails or I wouldn't take anything like metal or anything like that to scrape it off because you definitely don't want to chisel or make a scratch mark on your nice Teflon nylon here. So just take your fingernail and just kind of, you know, you can pluck it off. Super glue doesn't usually have anything in place to bond. There's no, there's nothing else on the other end to connect it to it. So you can just take your, you know, just kind of finger nail and so forth. Just kind of scrape it off. Something softer, you know, like a plastic scraping tool or however. And just go ahead and just scrape it off. So you got a little bit on the tire here, the super glue adhesive thing. But other than that, it looks really good. See there, I'm really happy. Uh, you don't have to use the accelerator if you feel like you can hold it for a little longer. For me, I just thought I'd speed up the process of not having to hold it. You see there's little aftermarket bits here. You just kind of scrape it off. But it just makes it bonds in second versus you know 20 minutes later. Especially when you're using it to drive around. You want that heat set to trigger right away. There we go. That's the second wheel. Going on with the third. That. Just leaves a little white residue. But all the scratches and so forth are gone. See that? I put quite a bit of bundle in there. And then there's also a scraped surface. So it's really going to create a nice bond right there. Let's see if I can see it from the other nice side of it. The other one this one's probably not my best but it'll have to do super glues already took his bond on here a little wedge gap here again I wish I could have pushed it in a little bit more this way but that's okay it's still bonded so it's set in there already now it's not gonna go anywhere and this is the one that needs it the most actually yeah I wish I could have got it there I could hit it break it off again with a mallet and hopefully the force of it will make it come back off and maybe I can set it a little bit better. But that's okay. I think this will hold for years to come. So that's it. I'm gonna share with you guys. Again with the alloy gator rim set here. Let's see if I can take a picture of it that way it kind of shows. Back, my phone was out of charge, so I brought back my anchor charger, the 5,000 milliamp hour. You can see here it's fully ready to go. I charge this on my Tesla, but when I need it to spare for my camera shooting, it comes in handy, especially for anything you need for uh, USB or anything like that. So just put a little tie strap bundle here, and I just hook it onto that tripod that I have here. So there we go. All right, I just want to show you guys. I did actually took a banging to this, and this thing is it's just been sitting there for only less than 20 minutes, right? But watch, I'll take a, a mallet hammer. I'll show you how strong it is. Uh, let's see. Four pound mallet. There we go. This is it. Um, I'm going to take it. I'm going to hit it again real quickly. That went through. Look at that. It didn't even budge it. It didn't even close that gap on the, the lid. Look how strong that is. See, this thing is definitely in it for, in it for real. And what's great about it, for some reason, nylon on nylon, it doesn't scrape it whatsoever. So as long as you don't have a metal surface in. However, it did knock all the white out of it that's on the side, which we wanted to do anyway. So that was a good thing. That flaked off. But other than that, it didn't come off. It's on there, you guys. So um, don't be afraid. Uh, I mean, whack it like it owes you money. Don't whack it. So there it goes. I did, didn't want to whack it just to set in place or anything like that. I just want to whack it to see if this thing will actually even come off because it looked like it was about to kind of flicker off. But that's okay. If it comes off next time, we'll do a little bit better job. We'll press it in more. Again, I'm very perfectionist. I'm trying to get that little grease 
just to show a little bit out of it. But since it's still solid on there, I could take a screwdriver and do some serious damage to it and pluck it out, but it's not worth it. Also wanted to mention to you that the Elon Musk accessories, I didn't realize there were two sides of it. So I didn't want to do you guys wrong. So we do a thorough review on that one. So let's see here. I took it out. I probably took it out and brought it back here. There it is. There's actually two sides of it. There's one here you can actually place. So you can actually put your cell phone here and have it hook on. Now, since I'm using my cell phone to record, I think my brother-in-law might have another cell phone. But yeah, let's see here. Because what I did was I just used it purely just to, on this side, which worked for me, you know? But if you wanted to, you could easily got it. And it looks really aesthetically nice too. And it like matches the color of the car. It's like black on black. I mean, this is definitely a, a, a great coupon moment right now. So do you have a cell phone on you for that? No, it's in the house. Okay, let's go grab a cell phone and let's just see if it actually does work. Hey, Terry. All right, there we go. Is this your cell phone or not? Okay, I'm gonna use the cell phone as an example. I got a little tray holder for my car and it holds a cell phone. And I'm using my cell phone to record, so unfortunately I can't. Give me one second here. All right, so basically what you can do is, you know, most people have iPhones, right? 50-50, uh, Android and iPhone. First of all, we gotta get in, so we'll take this off. Look how easy it comes right off. You put your, put on this side. There we go. And then you just put your cell phone. Well, this has a case on it, so unfortunately, <laughs> it's not thick enough for the case. <laughs> but oh yeah, it actually is. You can just do a little squeezing. There we go. Look at that. It's stand right on there. So there you go. You can do your work and everything like that and just look at your phone, look at your screen multiple ways. My neighbor thinks that you're supposed to be able to drive. How are you gonna turn the wheel? <laughs> I guess maybe when we get to that point, the whole seat, the driver's seat will face toward the passenger. And that's when we really have innovation of driverless cars. He was smart enough to catch on. The steering wheel usually still turns in self-driving. So yeah, so you can put your phone here, do your work. And everything like that i'm not sure what these little nipples are for but you could probably do things with it like put something in there i guess but yeah this is it this is the elon accessories tray holder very neat very nice so thank you michael from ncy store a uh, lot more accessories to share with you and the days to come just took a quick drive to harbor freight and um got some stuff there but you can see here our tires right now it's actually overflated, so we gotta go back there and check it out. I didn't want to stop the engine yet until I actually showed you guys this. So it seems like the door range, as you can tell here by the tire pressure, this is what's recommended for your car. Just look over the driver's side. It's right there, you can see. So I'm covering it up. There we go, very nice and clear now. So the rear, it should be set to 45, as well as the front, rear and front both. So it's really easy, they're 18 inch uh, wheels and it's supposed to set to 45. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna adjust this. You can see that once I open the door, it's reset now, it's gonna recalibrate. Remember it was 46 and the uh, driver front. It was 48, pretty much in the corner there. Uh, 49 here and then another 48 here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our little thing out to be able to take out some air. Matt, you said you have a little quick tool. I can always use my slime, but you have it somewhere there for the tire. We're just going to use this thing. It's probably a little bit more gauge. Check out the tire pressure. I'm not sure we're going to use this one here, but. Let's see. gonna come show you have it probably want to get the tool I'm gonna start to upload this video shortly you guys will see it um, just write in the description for it and everything that way I can get you guys all the links relating to what we use today probably be in here I put it in here that's that the one yeah yeah, I have the same tool. That's from our slime one. 
that for me didn't work too well, but let's try yours out. Okay. This one, how okay. much you this one doesn't, for some reason, it requires blowing on it. And again, this was 48, remember? This one's 48, the other one was 46. How do you do it? I push it in and then it just gives me a... Pull it. See that? Right there. What do you have? That's it? Is it? You want to reset it? No, I'm gonna reset it. You okay. Go by yourself. No, no, you have to push it in now. Let it reset. No, you have to take it out, reset it, then push it. Okay, the air. This is why I didn't like about it. I like the digital one, or that, or get my. Okay. Okay, that's it. So you remember one of the one says forty eight, right? Forty. See? Uh, there's fifty right here. There's forty. It'll, if you go one more, it's 45. See, it says 45, so it's not really accurate. I was hoping to get a little bit more accurate reading than the, that little dipstick one. So what I like to do is use, use my, um, I just use the slime itself. You, 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 my motor. Yeah. That's the only accurate one. Because yeah. that blows a little bit more accurately. All right, so also I got some new uh, accessories here to share with you guys quite a bit. Um, some little add-on trickets to make our car even better. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at our... Our button up thing, how they move, see, did not budge whatsoever. Stayed intact. This one's my main worry. We took a hammer to it. Look at that, still. All right, you can check it out, see, it's very nice and clean. The caps are still maintained. You can see that we took a drive and it's on the other side now. So it's very nicely sealed. I'm, I'm very happy with the, my Gator alloy protection. You can see there right there. Okay, so this was actually the highest uh, PSI one right here. This was at 49 if you guys saw earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're you're gonna go ahead and put this I like the slime meter much more better. It's more accurate. So you just screw it in pretty much like this And don't worry you hear a hissing sound a little bit of air might sip out But not a lot and just leave it in there that way you can see how it stabilizes you can see here on the meter It's currently pretty much sitting uh, I say about 40 46 right now or maybe 47 you can see there, 46, 47. What we need to do is in between, 45 is pretty much exactly in between the 60 and the 30. So what we wanna do, if you look at the green, you wanna get all the way to number three. Uh, depending on the way you tilt it, it could be almost all the number three. So what you can do is just loosen up a little bit, like this, just kinda of budge it out a little bit. You'll hear it hissed. When you hear it hiss, that means, I'll put it right here, that way you guys can see it. When you hear it hiss, that means you know it's coming out a little bit. Okay, and we're trying to get that needle to three. It seems like it's just shy, just shy almost like, shy almost like a millimeter. That's if I can reference. So we're trying to get that to three, right? So here we go. Trying to get it three. It's looked like it's slowing, making it three, but it's not. Okay, let me see if I can hold it this way. That way you guys see it depending on the camera angle. That's why you can't really see it's actually not on the three yet. Okay. See that it's not on the three yet. The three meaning that little green numbering. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to lower it. it looks okay. Like the air come out. And we're gonna loosen it a little bit. Let the air come out. Here we go. Not yet on the three. Almost there. I'm going slowly. You can turn as much as you want. Fast as one. There you go. It's still coming out. Almost there. 45. There we go. That's pretty much good right there. You see that? It's on the green number three now. That's what we were looking at. We're looking at the green meter now right here. That's in between the 30 and the 60. It's the number three. And we're pretty much around there. Depending if you look at this angle, it looks like it's pretty much hidden there. This one looks like it has some more only because I'm tilting it like way up like this. But if you look at straight on, this is where you really want to be. So if you look at straight on, it's exactly now it's at 45. So we're good here. This was actually our most. Oh, you know, when you take it out, it's gonna do some more. So you wanna take it out quickly. And then you wanna go and cap it. Don't have to be really accurate, but pretty much close to about 45, 46, uh, 44, just within that vicinity. It's a little bit more better for the tires. So you can see here, everything's looking good. 
So, and also when you put these on here, don't force it on there. The threads, you might kind of might want to wiggle it. You know, take your time. You know, you just don't want to ruin your. Okay, there we go. And make sure it just kind of spins freely, not forcefully. That means it's not catching on the proper thread. Okay, unfortunately this is upside down, but you know the wheel's gonna be turning in the direction it wants to. But we did our best. If you can see here, actually I did pretty well. If you look at the way the T is turned here, if you look at this one over here. It's actually turned the opposite, so I guess it spins any way it wants to. <laughs> I guess over time it's going to rotate offset anyway. So <laughs> this one's facing this way. I guess every little bit eventually will offset it, so there's no way of doing it. I thought there was, but okay. All right, let's go and take a look at this one. Let's see if we're still around 48 or are we close to 45. Because that's what we're trying to aim for for the door sake. So we're going to go screw it all the way in. Okay, let's take a look at our measurements here. All right, almost there. You can see here, it's almost there like a hair. In fact, it probably is around 46. But let's try to get it, see if we can get a little bit more. 45. Almost there. Okay. Smell a little paint here. I think he went to the little primer on the car there, or the roof of the car. Okay. You can see there it's almost 43 a little bit there we go almost there I'm just waiting for that needle to show up now it's done all right there it is very fast doesn't take forever and then again when you put it on there just make sure and we're probably gonna go for a little drive that way we can actually see it it will recalibrate. It'll take like maybe a couple minutes for it to recalibrate. So let's go and get to the other one. We're not using it to put air in and inflate it. We're just trying to deflate a little bit. Turn, take the excess of air out. Let me carry this over. It won't scrap. Okay, we got the next one here. This one should be the same, about 48. Again, based on our door reading, we want to make sure it's 45. So when you open your driver door, you'll see a little sticker. It won't be on the passenger side. Just be here on the driver's side. And you just might want to make sure, it says right here, 45 PSI for rear as well, 45 PSI. And this is for the, all the front information, the tire specs and everything, 45 PSI. So it says right there, 45 PSI. So here we go again. Checking the tire pressure is very important to keep, because they take collaboration into the balance of this and everything. Okay, let's see what this one is. this this way that way you guys can see a little bit more accurately okay so you can see here this is way off very high almost near the four than the three right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and loosen it up get some airflow out air is coming out we want to make sure until it falls below or near the three so we're laying it out we're just kind of counterclockwise a little bit more so it looks like it's got two millimeter of air here yeah, this is so much better than that little tool there with that little blow there it goes going down give yourself some time you can time it because you're gonna have to twist it all the way out eventually okay there it goes almost there as soon as it hits that mark I'm gonna go and start pulling it out there it is. Okay. And then you can just twist it right out. That's it. That's how pretty much you can un uh, or inflate the air to make sure you get the correct air pressure on there. Again, this is set for a maximum of 50 PSI. And you really don't want to push it for long term. At 50 PSI, you want to go a little bit below that. Uh, just in case. Okay, you see here, I don't want to cross thread things. So again, make sure that it actually threads easily. You can wiggle a little bit when you put these on. It's better to have these guys get damaged than your actual uh, valve stem. That means you have to replace that and that's a little bit more time consuming having to take the whole wheel off. Okay. So you can see that I'm not forcing it, just kind of going back and forth and making sure, you know, now it's all already snugged in. Okay, the last one here. Let's go and check that last one out to make sure all the tire pressure is good. 
and then we're gonna take a little scribe. I got a feeling that one of them might be at 44, but if that's the case, then we can just inflate it. Okay, let's look at this one. This one's at 46, so it's pretty close. You remember this one? So let's see what 46 compared to 45 one looks like. I mean, compared to the 48 one, and then compared to the 49 one earlier. So let's go ahead, and this is assuming to be 46, right? So let's go ahead and see. Now right here, I probably took some air out already by just getting it in there. But let's see right here. So you can see that it's pretty accurate. You can see how close it is to that number three already. But we wanna make sure it's really there at the number three. See that? It's almost at the number three, just like a hair. So let's go ahead and pull some out. Let me see if I can stretch this, that way you guys can see it. Okay, you can see there, it's not at the number three yet. Okay, let's go ahead and unbuckle this out, get some air to get re-release. Almost there. If you look at it from this angle, you can actually see it's not there yet. Go a little faster, counterclockwise turn. Almost there. Oh, oh, there. Oh, I got kind of clockwise all the way out and we're back in out now. Oh, there we go. That was a panic one. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We Hopefully we got around 45, 44 maybe some, and some maybe still around 46 perhaps. But we'll find out. Let's take it for a little spin. And it's gonna be about five minutes before it actually, maybe five minutes or less, a few minutes before it actually. So this thing really comes in handy, guys. The slime here. But I just don't know the one they give you right here. This one right here, I just, you know what I mean? I can do it again and show you. Oh, well, I kind of all sealed already, but it's just really not that accurate compared to having the actual gauge right here for some reason. So let's go and close this. In fact, I got to drop something off at the post office. So you guys can come along with me. Okay, I'll be back. I got to drop something off at the post office. Back to me holding it. Let's see my tripods here or not. There it is. All right, so you guys are gonna come along for a ride. The post office with me. I should have gave it to the mailman when he was here. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Okay, so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing in the dash, and perhaps maybe a little catch up on the view. You can see here I use the sun guard really nicely. It does a trick for me. Um, let me see if I can charge my car's charger with my anchor. A 12 watt charger nice it's charging at the same time as we're talking what's great about these things is you can just fold them up like this easily you know i got the ex uh, expensive one before with the folded one it didn't have the you know the i call this the bat wing it didn't have the kind of the bat wing kind of flexibility and even though for 50 dollars and this is only what less than probably 12 bucks this thing i think is so much more better because you can fold it like this and then tuck it away underneath your seats. And I just put it right here underneath my seat area right there. I used to put it right here, but then I realized it gets this side dirty, so I decided not to anymore. So let's, you can see here the tire pressure is still not there yet. So we're gonna hit reverse. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better angle. To a little bit of the top view, okay. So it's not reset yet. We have to roll a little bit. Let me put my seatbelt on. Or it just keeps on prompting. All right, let's take a spin for the post office, shall we? Okay, so the PSI is recalibrating. You can just see it there. All right, so. Let me turn the AC a little bit higher. Oh, nice and cold. Kind of directed toward me a little bit. Uh, that'll work. Choose from media, which is fine. Okay, we can call it. Navigate to United Postal Service. They'll find their nearest one here. There you go. We'll take the one in M Street. We'll navigate to it. And we need like superchargers. They'll tell us the nearest supercharger. Unfortunately, it's all the way in Gustine. Uh, my brother in law said, let's grab some Pyology up in Fresno and Hurden Avenue. We could charge the car for free and fill up our tummy. <laughs> they got great pizza there, by the way, Pyology. Um, I just love the, just the pepperoni. And sometime, definitely had the uh, oily sauce there. Oh, it's delicious. 
making my mouth water right now actually even with a little common cold I still feel like eating it okay so we're gonna go ahead and um, we can go back to our history let's see here in the United Postal Service and we're ready to roll and let's see the tire cap collaboration here it didn't give it to us yet so we'll find out James I think this is James What's up, James? <laughs> How are you, brother? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah, he was waiting on his car to hopefully get service. So I wasn't sure if he got his car back or not. He had the Pontiac. Uh, it said he got a good mileage. Okay, so the PSI you can see here is still not. It's still not doing it. All right, so we'll take it further. Let me set this on autopilot. Pretty much you click down this twice and then it steers by itself. So the car is pretty much going on autopilot. Okay, the PSI is still not there yet. Oh, there you go, 44. There you go, you guys, 44, 45, and you guys can see there. 44, 45, and 44 PSI and 45 PSI. So I knew we we're gonna have about a little bit shy, a little bit on the other ones, but don't worry about it. it Sometimes it'll go back up for some reason. Again, it's not fully collaborated. So it's pretty close to it, right? So that's good enough, you know. It's better probably be a little bit under than over uh, just for safekeeping, you know, from the tire pressure. It says the max at 50. So we did it good. All right, so this is it. Oh. It's warning me about entering someone else's lane. <laughs> I think it all is here because we are hitting a ramp going over the thing. So I have it alert me as well. So that's pretty neat. You can see the car behind us. You can see the road behind us. All right. And you know, only I detect stoplight now, so it's kind of neat. Let's say. And then we're going to check the tires once we get out of the car and see how they look with the alloy gator, see if it's getting any effects or anything like that since we took the air out while we're driving now. All right, so you can see here coming up to a stop sign, it's yellow and it's red. And you look at that stop sign right there, it's yellow and red. Isn't that neat? Okay, oh, we wanna see this guy's license plate here. He's up close. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There's our, there is our street lights and we have three stop lights in front of us. See there? as well as three stoplights on our little screen reading too. What's great is you can do this too, look at this, check this out. You can see the front of the car. <laughs> it's so cool. You can expand it like a, like a mouse. Isn't that neat? And then when you leave it alone for a while, it'll go back to where it was sitting there. So a lot of cool things. See my charge level is pretty full. Play some music, choose from media of the phone, or you can choose a station. There you go, or you can mute it. Uh, pretty much all this is controlled by the two buttons here in the steering wheel, which is pretty neat. Now we can go. So, awesome. I'm going to oh, auto steer is off because I guess we're in the turn. Uh, this is where I had my scooter accident too, by the way, <laughs> so I don't want to jinx myself here. I'm in the safest car in the world, pretty much, uh, Tesla, uh, so it's going to help me navigate. If you look at here, it tells you the speed limit you're going, which I'm going exactly as the speed limit here describes, um, so it's pretty much turning for me. See that? Okay, so it's so more of like your second eye, you know. There you go. Now, when you take it off of auto steering, you'll see that the blue light's off the auto steering one, but you're still able to actually use the responsive cruise control. You can see here there's a car in front of me, and it's already slowing down automatically without me hold, pushing my brakes. Okay, we're gonna make the turn. Took it off of auto steering. Awesome. Almost approaching the post office. You can see we're in the same direction as we're supposed to go. That speed limit is 35, we're going about 33. Set it back on auto cruise control. Um, auto steer is pretty much, sometimes it's valid, sometimes not. You have to go pick up the pace or, there you go, now it's back on. There it is. 
look at that. The text, even actually the street symbols, uh, the right turn, you guys see that? It's not, look at that, you see? Look at that street sign, okay? We're here at the post office already now. Uh, still a lot of people here. It's probably the main post office here in Merced. And I always have a special parking because no one ever takes it. I'm not sure if it's even legal to be honest with you, but I take it anyway. <laughs> see that little white area there? <laughs> no one parks there for some reason. I think it's just a perfect one spot for one car. And there's no handicap next door, so I just use it. Again, it's a curb, so I really can don't want to. Let me make sure. All right, we're still clear, right? So that's good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cool. So we're here now at the post office. So let me take this tripod off for a second. All right, and let's go ahead and put in park. Now you can put in park if you don't want to open your door right away. But more than likely, I just usually open my door and put some park for me. Okay, it's just smart that way, you know? My trunk is open. Just gotta drop off a package to mail out for a customer. And that's it, that's it. I'll see you since I have my phone in one hand and the package in the hand. Thank you for this automatic front and trunk by Hanshaw. I'm loving it. Just gotta hand them over. United States Postal Service, protect yourself. And we are here. So this is it. Hey. Hello. Just want to drop off. Don't need it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we'll go ahead and scan it in in just a moment. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. So there. I'll drop. Wow. <laughs> All right. We're done. Let's check out our wheels here. See if it held up even with the tire pressure exactly uh, as we need it to be, around 45 or so. So far, so good. This is only the leftover residue from, there's nothing binding that super glue left over. So it's okay. This is good. Took my mallet hammer, I could probably shake that loose again. You guys can see there. So far, so good. It's all holding up all the edges. Nothing stretching. All the corners are good. Yep. Very good. Come back around again just to make sure. I didn't think I looked at all around through. Yeah, these arrow wheels are beautiful with that alloy gator. Well, it looked like it's just made for it. In my opinion, anyway. Looks so much factory. Especially protects it when you start hitting this curb area. This is you see all these little dark spots? That means somebody's rim took a beating for us. Well, there's still plenty more of the these are like earth sandpaper here. My phone overheated so I wasn't able to uh, capture some recording, but you can see here after driving back from the post office, um, pretty much it's already corrected itself already. The last tire is 45, 45, 45. I'm just waiting for this one to be 45, but I got feeling uh, we went really low on this one, so let's go and tap it off a little bit. Let's see if we can... Uh, once we actually open the door, I think it's going to reset itself. Let's see. Ready? Here we go. All right. So we're getting out. Huh. So far, so good. Still stayed on there. All right. Let's see if we can open the trunk. All right. Well, hopefully this stays on there, huh? Let's see. It will do as a solid or not. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of air. Well, we still can. And that will be perfectly 45. And then, like I said, if you wait till the next day, it might actually be 45 already. So we might be just doing something that it's going to fill up to 46 now, but we'll see. All right, so we'll get to that. Oh, there it goes. It reset. It's all blank now. So we won't know until we take another drive next time. But let's, we pretty much be accurately. So I'll take out my anchor charger there. That's the only thing that charges my phone up really well. But my phone is too sensitive, you know, a little sunburn. And it's... And it doesn't want to actually uh, you can actually still close the door on this so it doesn't really hurt it there we go oh boy i took the cap off already totally forgot to put the cap back on maybe that's probably why i don't know all right let's just inspect make sure everything looks good so far so good this is really nice the alloy gate i just can't get enough of it I'm really pleased. I can't wait to take it out for today. We're probably gonna go out to Hernan. I'm gonna use my Elon accessory try, wheel steering wheel tray there and enjoy my pizza in the car, perhaps. Who knows? 
Let me get this guy straight. It's too excited. I don't want to cross thread something. All right, so let's go and look at that meter real quick here. You can see here it's almost falling below the number three. That's why it's probably around 44 PSI. So we just want to crank it up a little bit. Do too much, do too little, we'll find out right now again. We're going to put it in there. Okay, every time we do this, we'll take a little bit out. Yeah, it's pretty much on the dot. You can see here. See that number three? It might even be lower, actually. But I think it's okay now. That's why I can figure it out. All right, so there we go. I kind of spin it on my way so it's not forcing air out at the same time. All right, there we go. Let's cap it. Finally get our cap here. Nice. Again, this used to be black, so uh, not turned into like a, like a titanium alloy to uh, sort of a different black. Almost matches my, um, I guess you'd call it trunk bumper guards. All right, just want to make sure I get a really paranoid to make sure I don't cross thread. So I will go ahead and back it up. And again, it has to go in like spin freely, at least like several turns, like maybe four or five. Okay, see that's not spinning freely. That means you're caught in something. It should spin freely almost all the way actually. Okay, let's do this again. There you go. See that? You got feel for it. Make sure it spins freely. Don't force it over time there we go unplug our guys back oh. Thought I can this is actually locked recheck it again so let's go ahead and see uh, our PSI should come on let's see if we hit it um, we just pretty much messed with the driver wheel we went from 44 hopefully it's now stay so I'm just gonna go around the block real quick <clears throat> I think within like three miles or so, it starts picking up your pressure. So here we go. There we go, 44 still. Ah. <laughs> All right, so we thought we put some more air. Maybe it takes some time to calibrate, but I'm pretty sure it was about 45. So it doesn't have to be accurate. Like I said, it's gonna fluctuate. Oh, there, this one's 46 and we didn't even touch that one. So you know what I'm saying? So if you're about 45, 44, 46, you're good, leave it there. Uh, we didn't even touch this wheel it come back up on its own. I have no idea how that's possible. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Um, you know, it's pretty much triggered by some sensors. So it's not exactly accurate. But it's a pretty good representation where you should be around. So between 45 to 46, just 2 PSI off, you should be good. Uh, try to get within that range. I know we filled this guy up already to at least 45. But now it still says 44. So if you drove it for maybe another 20 minutes or so, you'll probably see it adjust as well some more. But other than that, I think it's good now. We'll leave it at that. So uh, this is Michael from NCY Store. We'll definitely catch each other in the next video. Thanks for watching again. The Tesla journey continues.